In the United States, one in three students say they have been bullied in school. Here in the Clark County School District, investigations into bullying have talked to nearly 6,000 incidents in the latest accountability report. Now, let's compare that to this number, in which 74% of Americans experience glossophobia, or the fear of public speaking. But why am I comparing these statistics? Well, I believe that the key to successfully addressing bullying is in part through public speaking, a skill that so many dread, despite numerous studies suggesting that it can empower and liberate individuals. And this promising skill may help students better cope and manage with bullying. As a licensed high school teacher and debate coach here in Las Vegas, I've seen both the debilitating effects of bullying on a student's academic achievement and the empowering qualities that come with public speaking. Now, my research is specifically focusing on verbal bullying, which has become the most prevalent type to occur. Unfortunately, only about 30% of all CCSD schools offer any type of presentation-based courses. However, from this small percentage, my research is studying a random subsection of these classes and will analyze and track those who have reported verbal bullying. But you may be asking, where is the link between, between these two concepts? Well, my preliminary findings have uh, shown that these victims of verbal bullying are reporting a greater sense of confidence and a greater sense of control over their specific bullying incidents because of these, uh, because of these courses. And in fact, this method of instruction builds upon existing bodies of research that suggest correlations between student behavior changes and incident outcomes. In other words, my thesis asks, as we continue our efforts to minimize bullying, how can we improve the way our students respond to it? And while my research is not a definitive solution to this growing epidemic, it can become one of many counseling tools to use. It can help that little girl who is constantly shamed for her body at school to own her image. It can help that villainized, undocumented student who is under constant threat of deportation to be proud of his roots. And it can even help former CCSD students like myself, someone who's faced his fair share of bullying, to not only be more confident and assured of myself, but to also proudly stand in front of you